Air busing, all the unnecessary equipment, essentially no capital spending. We have a fantastic shop that we're expanding and we're fixing anything that we can possibly fix and keep it running without purchasing new to replace it as we have in the past. Uh, we have contri eliminated contributions to outside agencies with the exception of those generating documented return on investment. We have been very streamlined and efficient. We've cross-trained at, at all levels of service throughout the city. We have completely reorganized and restructured every single department. And we've reduced, not just from the bottom, but from top down as well. <coughs> revenue initiatives. This is the tough part. It's hard to create revenue right now. I think we all know that. But what we are trying to do is make sure that we're getting all of our lodging taxes, collect from the folks who are not paying, uh, generating new revenues from the sportsplex, as our goal is to be the sports youth capital of the world, or at least in the South. Uh, expanded non-traditional programming if there's a positive cash flow from the expansion. We acted as a general contractor on our own sewer plant that actually saved us $15 million. So when that plant opens, we'll have $15 million in equity at least. And we're pursuing no match grants for the most part and have achieved about $2 million this year in uh, relatively no match grants. Size of the fund. We, we think, again, we have a consultant. I should have, I meant to preface this. We're going to a consultant who has done this in other places. That consultant is going to help us decide how much money we need, and what do we, can we charge, what do we need to charge to get there, and who can we charge as fairly as possible and legally as possible. Specifically, the fund would be used for full-scale beach renourishment costs, which is an 8 to 10 year cycle. However, that's historic. That's depending on your uh, tropical occurrence. Is that the correct term? Tropical occurrence? Uh, frequency. Local match requirements for FEMA repair projects. We don't know where FEMA will be in the future. Possible future call shares with Corps of Engineers for Pedro, uh, Perdido Pass Sand. We wanted it this year, but we didn't have the money or the fund to take the chance on if it didn't work out. And that's a complicated, I don't know that I won't even try to explain it because I don't know that I can. But the point was we didn't have money in the fund to take a chance on saving as much as $800,000, I guess. Something of that nature. Um, doing enhancement and maintenance costs, post-storm and natural permit required monitoring and reporting, surveys, aerials, post-storm assessments. This is FEMA requirements. We have to do this to be eligible for any FEMA money after a storm. Future studies and other beach permit related expenses such as a sand search. This is something I learned. I thought we had more sand than we knew what to do with out in the Gulf under the water. That's excuse me, absolutely false. There's only a, a limited amount, a very small amount of beach quality, am I saying it right, Phil? Yes. Beach quality sand that we can bring onto the beach and expect it to be white and free of debris, I guess, <laughs> for lack of a more technical term. But um, so we have to go find what's called boral pits, and we have to survey and find these pits. They're few and far between, and it's very expensive. $400,000, is that correct, give or take, to, to do a survey and find something? That's our budget for this. Okay. And environmental assessment studies. What's the future hold? Uh, your guess is as good as ours. A lot of business people in this room, ex-business people, uh, you know how difficult it is to gauge what the rules of the game are today in this political and economic climate. We don't know if FEMA will be around five years from now, ten years from now. We don't know if they will deem beach renourishment unnecessary. Um, well, uh, we don't know if in five years there will be 100 percent, 50 percent, 75 We just don't know. And that's what concerns us. At this time, we have an ineligible beach for FEMA reimbursement in Orange Beach. Arbitrary and out of the blue, they decided we were ineligible. We've been meeting with them, we have our attorneys working with them and going back and forth, but if a storm took our beach away today, we would be responsible for putting it back. There would be no 
FEMA help. So you're looking at 10 to 15 million dollars. <coughs> According to FEMA numbers, to put the beach back right now to the 2005 or 2006 standards of where we, when we initially re-nourished it, would take 9.6 million dollars. If FEMA participates, our share is 1.5. Could be less, but that's what they're telling us. So that we're 1.5 million in the hole right now. We don't have it, and we've got to find a place to find it. If FEMA doesn't participate, then we're responsible for all of it. 9.6 million. We also don't know what the cost. We, we would expect the cost of renourishment to go up. It was $10 million in 2005. Ten years from now, five years from now, it could, be two, it could be $20 million. That's an unknown. How much is the fee? Who will pay the fee? How will the fee be collected? When will it be collected? How long will it be collected? Those are just those are questions that we don't have the answers to. Uh, we hope that our consultant will help us put together that package to present. Now, we have a, a sample program that we put together somewhat based on what they've done around the country and other beachfront communities. But please, when you leave, don't take this as gospel because we don't know that it will end up being this type of structure with these numbers. We hope it will. We think these numbers match somewhat what the other communities were doing. We would go back. We would, we would collect it through the sewer bills. It would be just tagged on just like a garbage fee and recycling fee. It would be monthly. We, um, I think the other slide will address the next thought. Okay, I had a bunch of questions about the one cent sales tax and how it paid for the previous 2005 uh, renourishment. Generates $2 million a year, $13.5 million to date. Our bond and interest on the 11.5 for the beach renourishment, 7.5 for a hurricane disaster reserve fund, which is what the resolution said that one cent sales tax would go for, along with drainage. Those three um, issues drainage, hurricane reserve fund, not to be touched except post-hurricane, and um, re-nourishment. The bond payments on that is $2 million a year. So the one cent sales tax essentially matches up with the bond payments for those two um, programs. We've spent about $8 million in drainage programs. Uh, most of that around the, at the golf course by buying the golf course, with, which was a great investment because that golf course is one of the, the best drainage programs we have for that area of the city and actually six million was cheap for what we got out of it. Um, the one cent sales tax, this is what I like to throw out at you and it's been received well by some and some think I'm crazy as a loon. But my contention is through the one cent sales tax everyone for the last five years has already been paying for beach renourishment. I don't live on the beach, and for five years, I know I spend at least a thousand dollars a month in Orange Beach for groceries. So I've been paying roughly one hundred and fifty dollars per year, probably a lot more, toward those toward those uh, bond payments and that previous renourishment program. Why not a lodgings tax? Revenue is on decline creates a competitive barrier with all of our other competitors on the Gulf Coast because all of us are right now in the same strata, essentially. <clears throat> it only applies to rental properties. And it's difficulty collecting from folks who are privately renting. Additional sales tax, again, revenue on the decline. Barrier to retail competitiveness. Other sales tax increases are possible outside of our control. Also, I believe a fee is a better way to run government in any situation you can because a fee is...